You are welcome to another edition of the Market Opening Goal, where we give you updates for the Nigerian capital market. This edition captures the market performance for Tuesday, March 24, 2020. From the Nigeria Stock Exchange, the All Share Index closed at 21,741.16 basis points, with a market capitalization of 11.329 trillion naira, meaning it appreciated by 0.19%. The equities market closed Tuesday on the positive zone as investors gained 20.94 billion naira. Nigeria Police Force Microfinance Bank, Stambik, and Transcop were top gainers, while Caverton, Cornell, and Nascon were losers. Guarantee Trust Bank, Zenit Bank, and Assets Bank were the top players in terms of trade volumes. From the FMDQ OTC Security Exchange, the debt market size closed at 28.85 trillion naira. The NAFEX rate closed at 380.67 kobo to a dollar, while the I and E FX rate opened at 381.88 kobo to a dollar and closed at 380 naira 53 kobo to a dollar. Looking at the NASD OTC exchange, the NSI closed at 690.98 basis points, with a market cap of 507.57 billion naira. Volume of shares traded was 50,500 and the value traded was 14.802 million in two deals executed. You can also check the Nigeria economic indices on the dashboard displaying on the screen. For the highlights from yesterday, the Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Mr. Godwin Emefele, at the end of the two-day Monetary Policy Committee meeting, announced that in an unanimous decision, the committee voted to retain monetary policy rates at 13.5%. Other parameters remained unchanged as the liquidity ratio was retained at 30% and the cash reserve ratio 27.5%. Also, in response to the COVID-19 crisis, the Federal Inland Revenue Service has announced the following measures. Filing of returns, correspondences and communication will follow the new process. Use of e-platforms for filing of tax returns, payment of taxes, and application of tax clearance certificates. Taxpayers who are registered on the e-filing platform can submit all their returns via efiling.firs.gov.ng. Let's now move over to the Coronanomics Watch, which captures the impact of the coronavirus on the economy. So far, Nigeria's index case has risen to 44, with two discharged, 41 active cases, and one death recorded. Lagos State, Nigeria's economic capital accounts for the highest numbers of cases so far in the country. At the global level, the total case is over 400,000 with 17,000 plus deaths and over 103,000 recoveries. The International Monetary Fund through its managing director, Kristalina Georgieva, has warned that the coronavirus effect is posing a negative global growth outlook for 2020, with an impending recession as bad as that of 2008. There are hopes of recovery by 2021. And that will be all for this edition of the Market Opening Gong. You can visit our website www.prosharengine.com to get more updates from our news stories and videos. You can also follow our social media platforms showing on the screen for further updates on our market reports. Till we come your way again, thank you for watching and have a pleasant day and stay safe.